Japan, one of the most interesting places on our earth and my personal favorite destination. And ever since a and unveiled their new premium cabins, I knew that this was the way that I wanted to travel to Japan the next time I'd go. Join me on this 14-hour flight from London to Haneda in what I consider to be the world's best first-class experience. So flying first class on ANA entitles you to use the first class Singapore Airlines lounge. So let's go look for that. If you're interested in the first class lounge, please check out my other video for a full review. 14 hours of flying normally sounds like a dreadful thing. In fact, because of the war in Russia and Ukraine, the flight is even longer. It will be 12 hours, now it's 14. But if you're flying first class, I'm sure 14 hours isn't that bad. Everyone is so kind and friendly and they're so proud of their first class and that I get to fly it. She also mentioned that the alcohol is very good uh, thanks to their $1,000 21-year-old Hibiki whiskey, which I will definitely be drinking, and their Krug champagne, things I would never buy myself. That's the best thing about doing all these miles and points and stuff. You get to try things you would never try. I am indeed the first. Hello. No problem, thank you. Actually, we have today only two passengers, and this side is only you. Okay, perfect. Here is okay. Of course, thank you so much. Yes. You're from Swiss. Yes, Swiss Indian. How can you speak? Just, just. What name? What do you call yourself? Bishigu Sam. Bishigu is Swiss name. Yes. Yes. But Nabil is Arab name. Chichi wa Kenya Jin, Haha wa Swiss Jin. Ah, Japanese. Japanese is not Japanese. No, no. どうして日本語がそんなにできるの日本と日本人と日本語大好きです日本に住んでるわけではないのに日本語の先生がいます浜松で浜松の日本語の先生がいますおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお
and you can even connect your own laptop or iPad to the HDMI port so that you can watch your own shows on this obscenely large 42-inch LED screen. Of course, they're all super happy that I can speak a little bit of Japanese and they're all very kind saying I'm very good even though I'm very shy. The seat is ultra comfortable and all the materials used are fine and feel amazing. The cushions are super soft as well. Shortly after takeoff, we were served Krug champagne and an amuse bouche. A culinary experience like no other began to unfold. I had three cheese pepper bars, an asparagus and chive soup, a goat cheese macaron that absolutely blew my mind, and a butternut squash tart that was just as delicious. And of course, copious amounts of Krug champagne to wash it down. Well, the food was absolutely delicious, that macaron, that was just crazy. That was mind-blowing, actually. I was allowed to mix the European and the Japanese menus, and so I started with the caviar service, and it was a full caviar service, as you can see, with all the sides. It was absolutely heavenly. This Russian sturgeon caviar is one of the best in the world and absolutely delicious. An absolute 10 out of 10. So guys, here we go. My next course came from the Japanese menu and it was the Zensai, a selection of morsels as it's described. Mm. Avocado, scallops and dashi jelly. Mm. So I just had the daikon radish with salmon roe. That was delicious. Now I'm going to have the simmered abalone in soy sauce. The simmered abalone was okay. I'm not the biggest fan of abalone. But the marinated herring roe, that was amazing. The simmered shrimp was all right, but the simmered pond smelt was unbelievable. And the smoked salmon rolled with a sweet vinegar daikon radish also spectacular. So we will serve you the main course. Yes. And here it is, the immaculately balanced and dangerously drinkable 21-year-old Hibiki whiskey. This whiskey costs more than $1,000 per bottle, and I had it together with the grilled yellowtail, which is the wagyu of fish in my opinion. $1,000 whiskey. It smells amazing. <laughs> guys, guys, absolutely spectacular. First, let's have some miso. So let's get all the small stuff out the way. The mushroom was very succulent, the salad delicious, and the daikon. And now for the main event, the hamachi, yellowtail amberjack. Guys. It's like eating butter, like fish butter. The crew surprised me by offering to turn another seat into my bed. We can make a bed for okay. here, here, there, anywhere. Oh, if you can make it there, that would be but amazing. Yes, yeah. okay. uh -huh. And here we are in the bathroom. It wasn't especially large, but very well appointed. It also had a Japanese style bidet, which one must try out when one is in the plane. And there's also a little platform that you can lower to step on so that you don't have to step on the floor when changing. Here I am in my first class pyjamas. The L is a little bit tight and the LL is gigantic, but still I feel like I'm going to space in this outfit. The amenity kit comes in a very cool little globetrotter suitcase, and inside you have some very, very posh The Ginza goodies. Wow. Night, day, 
and cleansing foam from the Ginza, which we can just assume is going to cost an arm and a leg. A lustrous complexion, radiant and lustrous. Okay, whatever, let's just try it. Like as if I know what this shit is about. And then we have some aroma oil, some leg refreshing sheets, and we've got, and we've got some lip balm and whatever the hell this is, pillow spray. So yes, it's a very fancy kit that you get here. And so it came to be that I got a second seat in first class, made into a bed that I could use at any time and keep my other seat as a chair. There was so much space and the bedding was so soft and comfortable. The mattress topper was not the thickest, but I slept perfectly for about six hours. Flying over the Gobi Desert. Uh, about to order more champagne and more whiskey and more food so uh, yeah and there's still i slept a solid six hours and we still have four hours left i've never been so happy to have such a long flight there's a 30 minute delay makes it even better so yeah this is great i also fish and fillet it with the dipper and uh, yeah, very japanese <laughs> with the ikeji man and then ikeji <laughs> This is some seared tuna and squid sashimi. Amazing. That was so delicious. Squid especially. I'm surprised. I thought tuna would be the one I'd be like, oh my god, but the squid, spectacular. And then it was time for the grilled fillet of Wagyu beef with tarragon flavor jus de boeuf. Absolutely incredible. And in fact, you will see me cut this steak with a butter knife. Having a Japanese Wagyu steak is already a treat, but to have it on a plane and cook to perfection is just out of this world. This has been unequivocally the best flight I've ever taken in my life, of course. You cannot compare it to the Swiss uh, first class. This is just a thousand times better. The quality of the food, the comfort, the size of this monstrous 42 inch screen, with the friendliness, the quality of the alcohol, just everything, the technology, the seats, the comfort, the covers, the toilet, the pajamas, the shoes, the whiskey, the pilot who just bowed to me, just everything is absolutely perfect. Uh, the only two first classes I can imagine that would be better than this, or at least rival this, not sure about better, is Singapore Airlines first class suites or Game Changer first class suites on Emirates. But my personal goal was this flight and I'm very happy I did it. And uh, yeah, getting, getting hyped up for my arrival in Tokyo. If anyone's watched any of my videos, you will know uh, that uh, usually the first night in any new place will be a write-off. But I will keep it under control, seeing as I'm now a cultured man who flies in first class. Cultured. I really have to say that this whiskey is fantastic. Just spectacular, the Wagyu fillet steak, the sashimi, caviar. I mean, I don't even know what else to eat. I think I might order one more ramen. I was unsure if I should have the ramen, but after a little bit of convincing, I had to try it out. If, if I stay at this plane too long, I will become 140 <laughs> kilo. <laughs> go back, go back. <laughs> so guys, here we have the ramen, the Ipudo vegetarian ramen. And today we must unpack the chili. Made in Switzerland, the one and only hot pot guru. Spicy, unbelievable. Oh my God. Guys, it tastes like tonkotsu. I'm in heaven. 
absolutely astounding. This vegan ramen tasted exactly like meat-based ramen and I was on cloud number nine. And what better way to end the last meal of my flight than with this whiskey. So we're about to land and uh, they asked me to go and get changed again uh, out of my pajamas, which I did. And I came out and they were like, please give us your pajamas. I was like, I have them. It's okay. I'll put them in a bag. They were like, no, 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 no. We will refold them for you. Here we go. Newly refolded pajamas. Sleep or buy it. Buy it. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I'm That's sorry, amazing. I'm not good at this kind of thing. No, no, it's perfect. It's oh, look, they're so kind. Oh, and the boarding certificate. Amazing. <laughs> Oh, you made it so special. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Wow. Sure, you can just hold this like this. Okay. And I'll just, I'll just say this has been the, the the best flight of my life. I hope I will come back to exactly this flight with with these ladies here. And as you can see, it's been thank the most so exactly. Look at that. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm very happy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so We've just landed in Tokyo, and this was without a doubt of the best flight I have ever taken and probably will ever take. I can only suggest that everybody else try and get on this plane and enjoy because it's an amazing thing to be able to go to Tokyo but to uh, just to go to Tokyo like this is insane. And now it's over but it's beginning. A few nights in Tokyo and yeah then Vietnam then Singapore and then Dubai. See you later.